Hi everyone, my name is Julie, thank you so much for watching, and I am barefaced and in a bathrobe today. Uh, <laughs> so, I just got back from an amazing vacation, I went to Morocco, and I had to film a video <laughs> today just to get it up on my like normal scheduling time, and I just cannot be bothered to put on makeup because I just can't be bothered. So this is what I look like in all my natural glory. I did uh, brush my hair for you, but it is 8 a.m. in the morning, which is why the lighting's a little strange. But uh, we're gonna film this and we're gonna be okay. Thank you for being okay with me in my natural state because this is real life, sort of YouTube real life. So I am doing everything that I bought in February. This is kind of my style of makeup rehab. What I do is I show you everything that I purchased in this month and kind of talk about how my month went. And I have to say, I don't know if it's because I went on vacation or like this was a shorter month, but in general, I feel like I did really well this month. There was nothing really that I wanted to purchase, either from Ulta, Sephora, Douglas. I did do one drugstore shopping trip, which I filmed for you and you saw the two items I picked up. I'm gonna show you again today. But I just picked up a few more items after that, and all of my vices are in front of me. But in general, I feel like I did pretty well. Uh, one package still hasn't arrived, but since we're at the end of February, I do need to film it. But know that in March, you're going to see that there was um, a Tarte Shape Tape deal at Ulta where it was like 50% off for one day only. I think it might have been for Platinum. I don't know. There was like some deal like that. I did purchase the Shape Tape because it's my favorite concealer, and I'm almost done with mine. But... It hasn't arrived yet and I need to film this because we are at the end of February. So let me show you. In that uh, haul that I did after the drugstore visit to DM, which is a German drugstore, I picked up two items. One is the Catrice Cosmetics Plumping Gel Lipstick in the shade 30. This is just like a really, really pretty shade that I picked up. So as you know, one of my vices is lipstick. And it's so funny because in that video, I'm like, I'm not gonna buy any lipstick. I'm not gonna buy any lipstick. I'm not gonna buy any lipstick. I bought lipstick. <laughs> but you know, it's a learning curve, learning curve. The other thing I purchased was the Essence Melt Chrome Eyeshadow. And this is not in the shade Iconic. It's in the shade Ironic, <laughs> which is like, so ironic. <laughs> not iconic at all. Um, and also really funny, as soon as I filmed that video, edited it, uploaded it, I watched Jessica's Braun video, and then she raved about this, and I was like, oh, apparently it is available in the States. You know, it's definitely available in Germany. But it's just this beautiful shadow. I mean, look, look, look at that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's just so pretty. You can't see it because it's 8 a.m. and the lighting is so bad, but we're just gonna keep going, okay? We're just gonna keep going, so here we go. Uh, I also did a little problem with lipstick. Like, I still, my vices, right? Nail polish and lipstick, those are my vices. And I did pick up, I saw that L'Oreal was getting rid of their pop balm range, and so I picked up three shades because when I use these, I use these in my 2017 lip use up and I love them and they went really fast. But I really love the shade that I had there. So I did pick up three others. I've got 518, this is Tender Mauve, 420 in Bold Blush, and 819 in Caramel Comfort. But uh, I did pick up each of these and these were about $3 US dollars a piece. So I thought that $3 was worth me hoarding more lipstick. I also got found my favorite lip product from CoverGirl on sale. Um, this is the O Sugar, and this is in the shade Spice number five. These some of these have a light tint to them, some of them do not. But I find these so moisturizing, and these are so like the fresh sugar balms from like the really expensive Sephora brand. This just has a little bit more grain in it, but I absolutely love these. I use these up again in my 2017. Uh, lip product use up and I wanted to bring it back into my collection. I actually have two others of these <laughs> But this one was on sale. This one was three euro or three three fifty. So I had to pick this one up too So I picked up five lipsticks this month And we all know how long it takes me to use up lipsticks because um 
it takes a little bit to use up lipsticks. <laughs> but I know I'm laughing. I'm laughing because I'm uncomfortable being like bare face in front of you guys as well as talking about my purchases. Whoa, lighting change. Hang on. Is that better? I feel like we just like got really bright there. <laughs> okay. My next vice, as I mentioned, is nail polish. And unapologetically, Lauren did a video probably like a month ago now about lighting changing again. <laughs> about the best destashes, like places to buy destash nail polishes for bloggers. And oh, did I just happen to like look at that and be like, this is what I need in my life because I want to try more indie brands. So I did pick up two indie brand nail polishes and let me tell you, these are out of this world beautiful. Out of the world beautiful. So the first one I have is KB Shimmer Nail Polish. And holy mackerel, this polish is spectacular. It is a lavender purple with a multi-chrome uh, shimmer in it, which is like pink and green and blue. And then it's got hollow glimmer in it. And they're all very, very small. That's probably the best you can get right there, right on this side. Oh my god, it is beautiful. I put this on my nails because I was letting my nails rest in February. I didn't. I only painted them basically for this video. <laughs> and this was so good. So good. I painted one nail because <laughs> I didn't want to mess up like the new growth that my nails was having. But ah, uh, beautiful. I'm so glad. So glad I bought that. The other one I picked up was Polish, which I've never heard of before, but this is uh, Sister Saint. Can you see that? Nope, nope, gotta get it close. It's called Sister Saint, and this, oh my god. Oh my god, it's just not doing it justice, okay. It is, again, a purple, a deeper, it's a mid mid middle tone purple, but with these flashes of like everything it's like a rainbow so this one has small glitters in it as well as large ones the large ones are hollow the small ones are like peach and pink and green and purple and oh my when i cannot with this polish i cannot i cannot i cannot i just want to love it and be obsessed with it and that's what i'm going to do because i can't <laughs> um i just i just want to use this all the time every day, all day long, this is like a polish I'm lusting after. This is a close second, but like this one though. And what's interesting, again, I tested it on one finger, on my pointer finger. This thing lasted five days with no top coat. What? Are you kidding me? None of my jewels do that. So um, I don't know where you can get polish, but uh, I don't know how expensive it is, but I'm gonna see. Oh, and just so you know, I did get both of these for $5 a piece. Their number's going on down here, so you can see what I paid for them, but they're clearly on sale. I don't think anybody buys, like, indie polishes for $5. I don't know, maybe they do. I also got this Nail Hoot Five Free Lacquer Polish. This is a tangerine with uh, dark glitter in it. It's almost like a purple green glitter in it. I'm not thrilled with this one. I kind of bought them all in a bundle, but this one actually is going to go away. It's not going to stay with me. I don't think that the tangerine is opaque enough and the glitters just like really stand out in not a way that I appreciate. So I'm going to pass this on and give this some more love, but I did buy it this month, so I got to show it to you. It's still going to go into my purchases, even though I am decluttering it immediately. Again, I just swatched it on one finger, but it was cuter in the picture than it was on my hands, so that's okay. I mean, things like that happen. I also picked up from the same blog sale two juleps. She sold both of these for $5. Are you kidding me? These are $14 polishes and like individually from juleps, sometimes they can give you like one for five and the other one for five or like four and four, but I got both of these for five. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so my uh, wine purple with silver shift in it. This is called Jenda. Wonder Maven. I don't know if Jenda is uh, the way you pronounce it, but it is Jenda. Brand new in box, never opened. Like, kidding me? <laughs> awesome! I feel like I really won on this. And then this one is, um, again, your, uh, how do I describe it? It's like a pinky purple with larger pink shimmer in it. 
It's definitely more of like a girly glittery shade than that last one. And this is called Primrose Knit Girl. And so I bought, you know, five nail polishes this month too. So five lipsticks, five nail polishes, and one eyeshadow. I don't know. Uh, and then I just want to show you, I was gifted uh, these things. <laughs> that should be my thumbnail. That's hilarious. So Storybook Cosmetics. Uh, this is not the full set. These are their wand brushes. Can I do this? Yes, they're wand brushes, and I was gifted these. So, I this is not the full set. I don't know what my friend kept and what she gave me, but I do have, like, a blender brush. I've got, I don't know what I actually use this one for. This is, like, it's flat, but, like, long bristles. So it's not, like, maybe for under eye shading, but, like, that seems like awful long bristles for that, but again, they're wand brushes, so I'm gonna find a way to use them. Got your big fluffy brush, and then you got the, what they usually call a concealer brush, but does anybody actually use these for concealer? I don't think so. I use these for eyeshadow, because that's just what I do, because apparently I don't use this for my concealer. I don't know, I feel like that'd be scratchy. Am I crazy? But I'm excited to give these a go. I don't know anything about the quality of storybook cosmetics or anything like that, but the brushes are stinking cute, so I'm excited to have these in my collection. So, I'm going to stop rambling. Here's the total of what I spent for the month. This is the total of what I spent for the year. So, I think we're off to a great start. I'm really proud of myself. I didn't have any major shopping influences this month other than nail polish blog sales. <laughs> but in general, this is like a bit of a, a boon for me. Like, this is better. Than I, was, I was even looking at Ulta like emails, I was looking at the Sephora updates on the app, and like nothing was really coming up to the forefront that I wanted to purchase, which makes me really happy because maybe I'm tailoring it down a little bit so I can actually use what I own. Maybe, maybe that's the goal. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.